Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. In this video, we are going to learn how to install multiple MySQL servers on Windows machine. Now, if uh, you are a DBA from a uh, background with Microsoft SQL Server, what you know, like we can install multiple SQL Server instances on the same machine. Here, we can do the same thing, but uh, we have a little bit uh, difficulty here. Uh, the wizard doesn't help uh, to install those. Uh, if you are using Microsoft SQL Server, it's very easy. But uh, here we have some difficulties. I'm going to go ahead and explain to you. And uh, then we will perform the installation. So you can do multiple uh, uh, MySQL uh, in the servers on the same machine, but there are some uh, manual work you have to do. Okay, so last time uh, what we did, uh, we created, a, uh, we actually downloaded and installed one of the MySQL server on this machine. So I'm going to open Workbench and connect to that uh, uh, MySQL server. So you can see that we already have one instance or one server installed on this machine. Let's go to the server status and here we can see that it is running and CPU uses 8% and some connections are here. So that's uh, uh, our first uh, MySQL server installed on this machine. Uh, I'm going to services uh, and in the services uh, if I click uh, on uh, uh, M, it will bring me to MySQL AD. That's uh, my default, you can call it, or the first instance uh, or first uh, MySQL server installed. Okay, now I need to install the second one. I have uh, downloaded the file the same way what we do in uh, Microsoft SQL Server. Okay, if I used to install it, uh, I want to go ahead and in uh, my Microsoft SQL Server, what we do. Uh, we add that uh, next instance provide the data directory temp directory and all those directories uh, and it create uh, uh, the new instance for us um, we have a inst mysql installer here i have add button here and already you can see that uh, one of the mysql server is installed okay let's hit add and you will see i'm going to go ahead and click uh, on edit and mysql servers uh, okay and here uh, current uh, ga if I will do that, I do not see anything, uh, but if uh, I will do the previous GA, uh, let's see what we have here. So we have uh, other releases, let's say, then uh, it show me MySQL uh, servers. Uh, so I have installed uh, MySQL server 8.0 here, and if I will click here, it is not giving me option to install that or select it, but it's uh, giving me option to select the old versions uh, if I want to but I'm not interested to install old versions. I would like to install the same version of uh, MySQL. But anyways, uh, to show you this whole thing, uh, the goal was to tell you with the uh, MySQL installer, it is not uh, possible for me to install another uh, MySQL server on the same Windows machine. So we have to take some manual steps for installation. So what we have to do, first of all, go to the directory where you would like to install uh, um, uh, your uh, uh, MySQL. In this case, uh, I have, uh, let's say I have created MySQL uh, dev uh, directory here. I'm going to go ahead and uh, delete all the files. So then we will start over. You can, if you are not interested to keep this one, you can go ahead and uh, uh, whatever the name you want to give, let's say you, are, you have a MySQL QA. That's uh, your uh, uh, new instance or uh, server is going to be. The next part what you need to do, you need to go to the program files and here you will be going to the MySQL, go to the MySQL server 8.0 and select all these folders. So you select these and copy these folders and come back to the C where you have created a new folder, paste it there. Okay. Also, you will be bringing uh, the data directory. So let's bring the data directory for this instance. Let's let it copy first. Uh, so for the data directory where the databases are created and other files are created, uh, that's on C program data. So you're going to go there and uh, then you will be going to MySQL, MySQL Server 8.0 and then you will be going to the data. We'll just copy this folder as it is and bring to the new folder uh, that uh, we would like to use for new installation. So we will paste it here. Also, one of the other file we have to bring is called the my.ini file. That's a configuration file. So where that file is, that's also in the same folder, program data folder. 
so let's go to the program folder data folder here mysql sql and here is the file so we'll copy that file and bring to new folder okay so we paste it here what I'm going to do here, I'm going to change the name of this uh, file. So I'm going to call this one MySQL QA. Okay. That's good. Now we will be making some changes uh, to this uh, file. So first of all, this is our base directory. That's what we need to change. And we have to change the data directory as well. So also we will change the ports. So if you see that the, our first installation and the port for our uh, MySQL is 3306. So we cannot use that same port. And uh, what we have to do, we have to go to the client. Here we will see the port. So we'll change that to 07 if you are using 3307 for something else you can change to the another one so same way you will be going to the mysql d and here you have a port so we will change the port to the 3307 and we have base directory if you see the base directory here i'm gonna go ahead and uncomment it and also put the path for our new folder so that's our base directory right here okay and put this uh, backslashes or slashes whatever you call okay now the next part uh, we will be changing the data directory as well so I'm gonna go back to the uh, folder here get this entire data directory path and bring it to here okay so we are good here I'm gonna keep the same way and you can put the backslash here let's see if uh, save it now next part is uh, you will be starting uh, the survey uh, you will be um, actually um, installing uh, the service uh, so for that one I have some commands written we can use that one so I don't want to make uh, uh, the mistake uh, I will have all these commands uh, in the description so you can copy paste uh, and uh, that will help a lot uh, so what you need to do you need to go to the that folder so here is our folder so if you notice that uh, that was C mysql QA and we have been here that's the folder I need to go on command line and then run the command okay so CD C sorry C drive CD QA CD bin okay directory CLS clear now this is the command we need to run mysql d install mysql dev uh, that was the first name I was given when I was uh, installing it for my previous uh, test so it is QA and uh, our file name is uh, also change here the folder is uh, that's the path QA, MySQL QA, and the MySQL QA. So that's the name we have given. All right, so .ini, that's the path for our configuration file. Now you hit OK, uh, enter, and service installed successfully. Or uh, now we go to services, and here click M. So you will see MySQL QA services are there but it's still not started yet so what we have to do we have to start it so i'm going to go ahead and say net start start mysql qa now the service should be started it's taken some time okay the services is started successfully let's go back to services and the refresh the services are started now we can connect to the server so we can connect from here as well so we'll say mysql dash u root dash p and then as you know that with the port is chained so uh, that's one of the thing uh, what you have to do you have to um, provide the port here so dash dash your port and uh, provide equal to port 3307 
and now you will be providing the password whatever the password you had for the first uh, my my sequel so that if you remember that we copy those uh, all the directories bin and every directory uh, so that's uh, the password for same uh, my sequel you already have installed and you have copied those files so same root password you will be using here okay so now if i go back here and uh, let's say if i want to check uh, um, Okay, we are connected if I want to check the host name and uh, port I can run this command and it will show me so let's see I can copy from here so it should show me the port and uh, you can see that it is port 3307 good so it is working just fine now we are all good we have two uh, MySQL uh, uh, servers uh, installed on one window machine if you want to repeat the process uh, so you can uh, uh, repeat the process uh, for uh, uh, another one um, for me I don't want to spend another 10 minutes uh, just to do that now here uh, we have uh, connected uh, to the workbench and if you notice that uh, uh, I was connected to the MySQL prod so now I would like to connect to the MySQL uh, uh qa so let's go back to server and if i go uh, home here i have a connections here so i can add a connection and uh, i'm going to call this one mysql qa localhost because it's on the same server okay port is a 3307 and uh, okay save the password if you want to change the password you can change the password uh, I have the command uh, I will put in the comments as well so you test it okay fine okay now you can see that you have prod and you have QA one is running on 336 and one is running on 337 so let's uh, check the status on here so you can see that it is a uh, mysql 337 and uh, you can see that uh, the base directory is C mysql QA the data directory is uh, uh, see my sql uh, qa uh, data and uh, uh, the directories are on uh, my sql qa so all of them are created pretty much there but if you go to the prod you will see a little different because that's actual our my sql installed first so to proceed program files and all that so uh, this is how you will be creating uh, I have the steps written like create a folder and then move those folders from already installed MySQL make changes to the INI file and uh, then uh, run the command to start the, the service uh, sorry install the service uh, service then uh, start the service then uh, uh, check the ports uh, and then uh, you can find if you want to change the password for the root on uh, uh, QA uh, or newly installed the server you can use this command to change the password thanks very much for watching this video I will leave these in uh, on the description and you can take from there uh, I hope this video will help if you like it subscribe it